This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership. Hello, I'm Allison Rodriguez with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. Residents in three Phoenix mobile home parks are going to have to find a new place to live, and they'll have just weeks to do it, too. City Council members were expected to vote on a series of four actions Wednesday, and residents had hoped those actions would keep them from being forced out. But in the end, only one motion passed, and it included providing $2.5 million to support the relocation of these residents, while also offering services the city already provides to help the homeless community. Meaning in the end, these families are going to have to leave. Aside from the money, all this stuff is stuff they were doing anyways, and it's all stuff that isn't going to help the urgency of the three trailer parks that are being affected, that are directly impacted by the situations happening right now. Now those living in the mobile home parks will have to find other places to go with those move out dates coming in the weeks ahead. Now the property owners have maintained that they've been alerting these residents for months, even years, that the stay was soon coming. Well, remembering Lori Paestawa today does mark 20 years since the Army specialist died in the Iraq War. The first Native American woman to die in U.S. military combat. And this morning there was a special sunrise service for specialist Paestawa. ABC 15's Jamie Warren has more now from Paestawa Peak. Today's event held right here on the base of Paestua Peak, and it was to honor Lori Paestua, her comrades, and everyone who has died in combat. There were hundreds who gathered here today at the base of the mountain from different tribal communities, people flying from across the country, even Jessica Lynch, Lori's best friend, who survived and was taken prisoner alongside her. Matthew Doyle was a part of that rescue of Lynch, and even dug up Paestua's body from a shallow grave. He tells me that he and Lynch reconnected 10 years later and keep in touch. Well, it's a traumatic experience for both of our lives, so it's just set connection and we can talk and we can relate and some people may not understand and, you know, we can relate in that, that aspect. Also here in attendance today, the many Gold Star families who've lost their sons and daughters while in combat. For now reporting in Phoenix, Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. In the state of education now, retaining public school teachers is becoming even more difficult. Arizona does rank 47th in teacher pay nationally, and new numbers are showing there are nearly 3,000 unfilled public school teaching jobs here. Educators spending the day at the Capitol lobbying lawmakers to spend more money on salaries, special ed funding, full day kindergarten, and health insurance. We understand budgets. Most of us have been around here for a long time. It's going to be a back and forth, back and forth, but education is a priority for her. Union President Marisol Garcia saying Arizona is suffering from a teacher retention crisis and says the only way to solve it is with competitive salaries and respect. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Our latest storm system is going to be gradually clearing out. Now behind that main area of low pressure, there is still a chance for more snow showers up north. In fact, I think we're going to see snow showers redevelop this afternoon, this evening, and tonight across northern Arizona. For the valley, we're drying out less than a 10% chance for rain overnight tonight, and we're going to stay unseasonably cool too. Today's high only reaching 68 for Phoenix. We're talking 60s too in western Arizona. It's going to be cool all across the state. Highs reach the low 40s in Heber and in Sholo, upper 30s today in Flagstaff. Winslow may make it up to 52 degrees, but that may be the mildest spot in northern Arizona. Multiple flood alerts remain in place across our state. Remember, turn around, don't drown, and don't try to cross any flooded washes or roadways, as even though the rain has stopped through the morning, know that we could still see some flooding around our state. A chance for showers up north through Saturday, dry in the valley, and then getting warmer early next week. Another update tonight, but until then, you can always get the latest latest news, weather and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading that free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 news update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership.